What's up guys, Roman from RNS Entertainment here with another episode of Comic History, the weekly series where we go over the iconic origins and storylines for all sorts of comic characters and series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the origin of Jean Grey, aka Marvel Girl, who would later go on to be the host of the Phoenix, one of the most iconic members of the X-Men and a founding member of the team. This version of Jean Grey's origin takes place in X-Men Origins Jean Grey number no. 1 and features some of the most beautiful painting style artwork I've seen in a comic, giving us a perfect origin for the character that really doesn't need to be amended. The story opens up with Jean Grey being visited by Professor Charles Xavier, who was contacted by her parents after the emergence of her mutant abilities during a traumatic event that also damaged her psyche beyond the reach of any other help they tried to get her. The Greys tell Xavier that in the two years since the accident, Jean couldn't be out in public without screaming in pain from the surrounding thoughts overwhelming her, and couldn't have anything in her room without her telekinesis putting her in danger. Xavier tells them that with Jean's psyche so damaged, healing her would fall nothing short of a resurrection, and enters Jean's mind where she has been replaying the accident that set off her powers over and over in her head, where her best friend had been killed by a car in the street outside her house, and with her telepathy, Jean could feel her friend dying so strongly that she felt herself dying. But Xavier steps out of his wheelchair and tells her that this is all a result of her telepathy and that she is still alive. He leads her to a warmer place in her mind, somewhere that she had envisioned as a better place, and tells her that she doesn't have to continually live out past tragedies. He then offers to train her in the use of her powers and set her upon the right path, which she accepts as they both return to the real world. Over time, he does just that, helping her control both her telekinesis and telepathy, and counseling her through her grief, helping her return to the normal girl she was before, and finally returning her to her family. One day, Xavier takes Jean to a crowded shopping mall, believing that she was ready to test her control in a public environment, and as they walk, Jean notices that she's able to keep her powers in check, not hearing anyone's thoughts around her, and she grins at the notion that she could be around people again. Suddenly, a kid runs by and knocks her over, breaking her focus as the onrush of thoughts overwhelm her, setting off her powers in a telekinetic explosion of force, launching the mall goers in various directions. Back at the Greys, the professor apologizes for pushing Jean too far too fast, and says that he may have to resort to putting a temporary block on her telepathy, one that would dissolve over time once she had learned to cope with everything else. Jean returns to the place in her mind where her friend's death had been crystallized, and says that though it took her a while to realize it, she doesn't belong there with her friend anymore, and that she just wanted to say goodbye. Her friend's face turns skeletal and evil, lunging up at her and telling her she can't leave, but Jean realizes that this is just the part of herself afraid to let go, and that she had outgrown her fear, flying up above the scene to the presence of Xavier, who is almost finished installing the mental blocks on her telepathy, telling her that after today, the only voice she would hear in her head other than his was her own, and to that she smiles. Xavier returns to the Greys years later, and Jean has been living a good life, has become sociable, but still seems to be lacking something. At this point, mutants have become public knowledge, and humanity is already not reacting well to the news. He tells them that he is opening a boarding school to train and guide mutants into the new world, and that he would like Jean to come with him. Jean leaves her family and arrives at the school, becoming a founding member of the X-Men. As Marvel Girl, Jean has the basic power of telekinesis, but is saved by Cyclops in the Danger Room. As another missile flies towards her, Cyclops prepares to blast it, but Xavier's voice in his head tells him he had his test. This is hers. She uses her telekinesis enough to divert the missile, but launches it straight at Iceman who manages to block it with an ice wall. Jean meets with Xavier, who says that she's accomplished greater feats of telekinesis before, but that she had failed to do so today. And she says that although she has grown as a person, she still feels she needs more, and the professor tells her that that's part of being a normal teenager. Beast bounds in and tells the professor that the X-Men are needed, and they all jump in the X-Jet to go fight Magneto, though Cyclops notices that Jean Grey is not on the flight. Taking a day off to go walk around town, Jean stops to watch a news broadcast of the X-Men fighting Magneto, and a girl her age strikes up a conversation about mutants, giving Jean some sense of normalcy in her otherwise crazy life. At that moment, an ambulance driver becomes distracted and loses control, barreling into a closed-off road straight towards a group of people, and while everyone turns to run away, Jean steps forward, using her telekinesis to lift each of the people above the impending crash and hold them there, turning her powers towards the ambulance as it crashes towards her, managing to stop it in its tracks right before it hits her. Exhausted, Jean Grey leans against the side of the ambulance as she lowers the people to the ground, and as the girl she was talking to about mutants begins to call her one, Jean cuts her off and says that she's a perfectly normal teenager, smiling and flying away. Xavier puts Jean in detention, forbidding her to leave the campus, as she could have been needed in the fight with Magneto, and she had put herself in harm's way. He asks if she'll ever do it again, and Jean says no. Xavier says that lying is irresponsible, and Jean grins at him, with him simply happy that she is developmentally normal enough to be an irresponsible teenager. And that wraps up the origin of Jean Grey, a character that Marvel initially had no purpose for other than being the girl X-Man, but who was expanded upon and became a hallmark character of the team. 
I personally really enjoy Jean Grey as a character, and this is the perfect telling of her origin, both expanding on the classic version of Jean Grey and solidifying its place with amazing artwork. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and check out the Comic History playlist on the channel, where you can find every episode of Comic History, including origins for a ton of great X-Men characters. If there's a storyline, character, or origin you'd like to see an episode of Comic History on, go check out our Patreon and donate at patreon.com slash rnsentertainment. One of the donation rewards is to commission any story you want, both helping the channel grow and getting content specifically for you. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Roman underscore RNS. Like and follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our gaming channel, RNS Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.